Hi, I'm Robert Moranti. I work at the London Irish Centre. I'm Alex and I work for Horatio's Garden. So my name's Natalie and I work at Tudors United. Hi, my name is Shaw and I work for St Hilda East Community Centre. Hi, I'm Indu and I work for the Food Foundation. I'm Adam um, and I've been working with Dementia Adventure. Hi, I'm Sarah and I work for Age Exchange. Hi, I'm Shona and I work for CTBC. My organisation provides culture, community and care to mostly the Irish, but others in London. So we do everything from provide advice services to financial help, repatriation. We also have a day centre for elderly people. So the Food Foundation works to change the food system to improve the health and well-being of the UK public. Horatio's Garden, who create and nurture beautiful gardens in NHS final injury centres for patients and their loved ones. Age Exchange is a reminiscence arts charity um, who support people living with dementia um, with the aim to improve health and well-being, reduce loneliness. Dementia Adventure uh, offer kind of supported holidays for people living with dementia. Uh, they also uh, provide free uh, family carer events around the UK along with other stuff but uh, their ethos is to get people living with dementia outside into nature. The Tutors United is an education focused charity that provides after school tuition lessons for years four, five and six pupils. CTVC is essentially a production company and we make documentary films, we also get commissions for TV and radio and we do some amazing digital content. Uh, we have a platform called TrueTube which makes resources for schools in terms of RE and PSHE and it's kind of like an educational tool. Hilda's East is a community centre that provides services for old people, um, young people as well at the same time we provide other services such as a youth club to help the young people, we support their pensioners who retired and it's all about looking after the people in, in the local community. That's what we're really about. Massive, massive shout out. out. Massive shout out to Rack Foundation inside. <laughs> <laughs> so at the center, I'm the data and impact officer. So I basically collect, collate, and organize the data that they have. I work as an event coordinator and research assistant. Um, so in my year at CTVC, I have come in as a production assistant. So what I do at St. Hilda's East is uh, I do marketing and events. I sort of do a lot of copywriting for our website and printed material and also update all our social media. My role at Age Exchange is as a digital content and engagement officer. Um, so I manage the social media channels, um, I create key relationships within the community and also support the fundraising officer. I am the operations and development intern and I am developing the education management system. So my job for the year has been to document and film uh, the work with Dementia Adventure for uh, kind of uh, showing the impact but also for funding as well. Funding, funding, sure, funding, as well. funding as well. Let's begin now. My work highlights have been, well actually there's too many, but I feel like the away days that we have together where it's for projects that we get to know each other more than colleagues is interesting and also meeting Emma Thompson with our Children's Future Food Inquiry project has been pretty cool. I would have to say our black tie event called The Big Night Out. I got to really enjoy the centre and sort of explore more of like the finer parts of what we show off at the Irish Centre. It's really fun. One of my biggest highlights this year was releasing and launching our education app because it is my little baby that I've kind of created from scratch and working for about seven months on. Um, and seeing it come to life is just really, really good. And my highlight is literally the times where I can go around the UK and film in woodlands and care farms and just uh, see the impact um, the charity has been doing and I've been put into situations where I've been able to go out and film people, go and take photos of people, um, in terms of like a really cool commission that we did for BBC Bite Size. That was really good. Um, and now I'm working on a Discovery Channel programme. So that's been a really big step for me. It features a lot of like patient stories, volunteer stories, and they're really fun to sort of read and understand where people have come from and how they've ended up supporting us or benefiting from one of the gardens. I was able to communicate with the local people, even businesses, help them fundraise, the community centre, at the same time, see the company grow. So my highlight has been 
just generally the whole journey. It's not really one thing that I can pinpoint and be like, okay. I got to go in a combine harvester. What opportunities has uh, Time Shine opened up for you? <sighs> it has really given me the skills to put towards any job in the future. I think with the amount that my role really entailed, I've been able to learn a lot about many different aspects of charity work. With Rank, I'd say it's meeting all the other Time to Shiners. I feel like we've become quite close and I feel like we gel really well and it's always a laugh and they're all very, very, very supportive. Spending time with everyone from the Time to Shine program because they're all just great and hilarious and it's just always fun and supportive whenever I get to see them. So what have you taken away from this? Just how, um, I think the thing I've taken away the most is how important it is to kind of develop yourself. In terms of my year on Time to Shine, uh, I think my biggest highlight has definitely been spending time with everyone in Windermere. It was such a nice few days, just to really feel like I was getting to know everyone. It went from being like a group of kind of like interns and people that are all in the same boat to really becoming a group of friends. And I see the whole kind of ranked team as a real family. Yeah, I think Time to Shine has changed all of us. Not just our, just our self, but our personality wise as well and everything around. I, think. I was thinking how much active listening I was doing there. <laughs> Learning all the skills that they want to teach has been really helpful. So Time to Shine uh, is just the constant support you get. Um, I've absolutely loved it. I don't see them as other interns or other organisations because I see them as more of a friend as they're very supportive. That's why I really enjoy the support of the motivation they give me at the same time is getting to know everyone and um, networking as well and um, it's main thing is seeing everyone smile and laugh really. That's what I really enjoy and having that good vibe. I got to go in the combine harvester. Mm -hmm.